Can a thousand dollar motorcycles make it a thousand adventure miles? You're about to find out. Yeah! Oh, you're kidding me. I've about died 20 times. Hey guys, Wes here with Justin, and we are back for another exciting challenge. That's right. We've had a lot of fun doing crazy stuff on budget motorcycles. We did the five miles of hell challenge. We did the enduro cross race. And if you haven't seen those videos, be sure and check those out. They were a lot of fun. And we proved you can have a lot of fun with a small amount of money. Not a lot of money. Now, in those videos, we didn't cover a lot of miles, but we had a ton of fun. So we figure if we cover a greater distance, we can have even more fun. And what better way to put that to the test than with a thousand mile adventure ride. Now, if you guys are familiar with our YouTube channel, you know how much we love adventure riding, getting out there on the bikes, camping off of them, and seeing some of the most incredible things that you wouldn't otherwise see. And one of our more popular rides is the Hooked on Phoenix ride, where we ride from Mesquite, Nevada, down to Phoenix, Arizona for the Supercross. Most of the guys in this challenge have done that ride before, but this year's a little different. Supercross isn't coming to Phoenix this year. So we've got to spice up that ride a little bit, and what better way to cover those thousand miles than on a thousand dollar motorcycle? That's right. Now let's find out who is in. First up is Eric. He's the trail boss. He guides the R&D group here at Rocky Mountain, and for this ride, he will guide us. That's kind of scary, but okay. He's a great navigator and route planner. Next up is Chancellor. He's the prankster. When he's not messing with people here in the office. Especially Chase, which, which is awesome. He supervises the sourcing group here at Rocky Mountain, and he is really just happy to be here. Next up is Charles, AKA Chuck. He is our pro mechanic here at Rocky Mountain. Uh, more like pro procrastinator? Yeah, probably. No, but in reality, Charles is our in-house video mechanic, and we're all thinking that those skills are gonna come in handy out on the trail. Yeah, there's no doubt. And after that is Chase. The face. You guys know him. When he isn't doing videos here at Rocky Mountain, he's actually at home sculpting his calves. <laughs> now he's just out here trying to get some much needed time on the trails. Next up is Justin. That's me. AKA Skelly slash the stir stick. He is the brands manager here at Rocky Mountain. And I guess that gives him the right to stir the pot. It does. Especially with me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have Wes. AKA Nightshades, AKA Skinny Jeans. But Wes is our visual media supervisor here at Rocky Mountain. That's right. I'm not here for a long time, but I'm here for a good time. And he's sure to give us a fashion update along the way. All right, so let's hurry and get through the rules of this challenge. Let's do it. Number one, thousand dollars to buy the bike and fix it up. Number two, we're gonna do a thousand miles of gnarly adventure riding. And if the rider or bike doesn't make it, then they're out. They lose. Number three, scrounging and fabricating are permitted in fact, they're highly encouraged. I like it. Yeah, it'll be fun to see what people come up with. Number four, we're gonna provide tires for everybody. We don't want anybody getting killed on these old bikes running crappy old tires. So tires provided, not counted, that's not in your budget. That makes me feel safe. And lastly, everybody's gotta bring their own riding gear, their own camping gear, their own luggage. It's not included in the budget, just bring what you got. Now, we're gonna have a few of the video guys along with us on bikes, and that's just to document the ride and bring this experience to you guys. And we'll also have a Sprinter van as a support vehicle following along with us. Now, obviously, it's not gonna be able to make it everywhere that we're going on these bikes. But you're gonna need it to haul your bike home, so. My bike's gonna make it, but it might have to pick yours up, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna try and recap with the Sprinter van every night at camp. A thousand adventure miles might be a little far for this 1980 YZ125. DT could do it, I'll bet. 
he is way too confident <laughs> with that bike. I'll get a new bike. So a few of us are gonna need a new bike that will hopefully take us a thousand adventure miles. That's right. So? So let the fun begin. All right, so two weeks ago, we got the green light to be able to do our next motorcycle challenge, thousand dollar bikes, thousand miles, but we didn't waste any time. Without further ado, let's check out the six bikes we got. Should All we right. count down or what? My thousand mile colleagues, I give you. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. I one 1982 Suzuki SP500. With brand new tires. Nice. Dude. Is that going to make it? Um, Look at that. that is Kush, all original. Oh. Okay, okay. How much? Is it so How long? much? The guy was asking $900. I talked him down to 600 This thing runs, nice. fires up first or second kick when it's not too cold outside. I say he's yeah. dude. Yeah. Nice. Let us, let us story behind this bike because Justin was talking to the same guy and JD for whatever reason blew him off and then I swooped in and took it and I talked the guy down and... Check it out. I just noticed it's got progressive... It's got like aftermarket shocks awesome. on it. Yeah. Progressive yeah. Suspension. yeah dual See? Rate. That's all right. How many miles? Nine? <laughs> Nine thousand? What? Dude. Dude, that's low miles. She's ready. That is awesome. The SP 500 is ready. This voice is called patience. It's right here, you ready? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck? Heck? How much? Oh. How much? A thousand. So, so they were, it was on Facebook, 900 bucks, and I couldn't get a hold of the guy. I just, I was just hammering him with, with messages. He came back, he finally got with me. I'm like, hey, I'll come down right now, I'll bring you money, whatever. And he's like, oh, we well, pulled it out and the battery's dead. And, and he says, well, how about, how much is a battery? I'm like, I don't know, I'd probably get one for 40 bucks. He's like, okay, how about 860? I said, I'm on my way. You got e start? I've got e start, yeah. I've got a big tank. So, battery for sure. I put a charger on it. See, see the foam. Blinkers. Uh, I got one blinker that I'm missing. Oh, uh, some lever. levers, levers and yeah. clutch and all that stuff. But the battery. Tight. Yeah, I see. Levers. Battery, you blinker, scored the best bike, but your budget's tight. I'm scared too. What if I come in, what if something else happens? See, that's why I feel good about 400 to go on that. You're, you're right. You made the better call. Good. Hello. That tarp made it look a lot bigger than it, it did. is. It did. <laughs> look, it's this right here. A GS650. So a 1982 nice. Suzuki GS650E. Welcome to Suzuki Club. You're missing I know. something here. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> it's got no what? carbs. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, nice. So bring there we go. Nice. Carbs. Oh, oh my God. Beautiful. So. He's packing some carbs today. The bike, when I went to go get it, um, it looked a lot better in the ads. Uh, as soon as I show up, I start looking at it, I'm like, gosh dang, this is rough. And I ask, will it start? He's like, oh no, it hasn't ran for over 27 years. <laughs> Crap. So you bought it anyway. So I bought it anyway. <laughs> but I did get it for a very good deal. I got it for 250 bucks. Everything's there, everything's complete. So when were you born? I was born in 92. And the last time this was written is 94. Oh, hey, Justin. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. It's just nails holding it on. Look at the that. Screws. Two screws. screws. Back scratcher. <laughs> Somebody's obviously seen this bike because there's extra covers and stuff, so I can tell somebody's messed with it. So let's see, let's see what they did. Okay, we got another cover. <laughs> It's like a Christmas present. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is it? All right, all right. So, 1990 DR350, the first year they made them. Uh, it's the off road version, which means. And I knew this, that I was going to put a make it street legal, which is fairly easy to do in Utah. Um, I drove a long way for this turn, <laughs> and it's way rougher than I thought. I got it for 500 bucks, which is too much. 
Um, the guy told me it's just, you know, well, he said it was running and it just needed the carb clean. Never, never believed the carb clean, clean thing. So it didn't start for me, but it had compression, it had spark, so I bought it anyway, against my better judgment, for 500 bucks. And after seeing some of these bikes, I'm not that excited about it. So we'll How see where it goes. spray paint is on that? I know. Yeah, if you notice, everything is spray painted. Obviously the plastic, but even the yellow frame, there's yellow overspray everywhere. And even my seat is spray painted. <laughs> I gotta admit, I got, I was a little too anxious. I bought my bike first and... Hey so, JD, remember that one time you didn't buy the SP500? Shut up, shut up. <laughs> Okay, brace yourselves. This Sorry. is gonna be amazing. Hey! Whoa! Hey, I know that bike. Authentic that's... mud from the Juab Enduro race. Dude, Still on it. That's gonna be a good bike for this. Has it been started since then? I started it last week to see. Oh, I forgot nice. I did put CFO or I put uh, stabilizer in it. So yeah, just it fire right up. This thing's sweet, man. I think it all is. I gotta do is uh, keep it. put some lights on it and hopefully get a title. I might have to get another bike if I can't get the title for this. So we'll see what happens there. But I think it's the perfect bike for this ride. Great bike. I, I agree. Is. How much Great did you spend bike. on it? I'm in it at 630 right now. Oh, okay. So. Dude, you got so much budget. Hand yeah. Pretty, yeah. Some hand warmers, maybe even a seat warm. I don't know. <laughs> Whoever yeah. spray painted that engine did a good job. Well, yeah. yeah. It looks mint. All right, you guys ready? Oh my gosh. Oh. What is this? Wes, I think is you that have more Japanese Is that a Chinese bike? What is this? Yeah, 2005 Ninja oh. 250. That's oh, an 05? That's the newest? I don't know oh. how many miles it's caught on it because I don't have any gauges or anything. <laughs> what are you going to do when we hit off road? This, oh, dude. He's going <laughs> to be just like can Chancellor. You, can you stand up on it? <clears throat> he's got more ground Here, I got you. I got you, Wes. Yeah, how's that going to be I got standing you. up? Oh, like that. Do you think tall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so you need handlebars. I need handlebars. I gotta figure that out. Yeah, what do you. Yeah, I got do six you... gallons of gas though, so I'm <laughs> set there. Look at those tiny front tires. They're gonna fall in every <laughs> hole. How much did you pay for a KX450 front tire? I paid $270 for it. How did you arrive at $270? You don't want to know. <laughs> I, yeah, we do. Wait for the video. 250? What if we do 270? Call it good. <laughs> but check this out. Title in hand. Uh, ready to go. 05, the newest bike. That is the newest and bike. the coolest bike so far. Chancellor's got to beat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but this true. is pretty cool. I got to admit. You know what? Justin, at least he's got cool headers. I, Look at this. I hate to say it, but I think Wes might be closer than you are. <laughs> I think he might be too. Yeah. Well, well, well. Dude, look at the cat drug in. <laughs> the DR just didn't have the cool factor, but the KZ440 does. Is this in your budget? <laughs> yes, because the DR doesn't count. Okay. I'm selling it. Selling the DR. So I just picked this up. I tried to pick it up last week for our reveal, but the gal selling it couldn't meet with me till Saturday. So I went and checked it out. 81 KZ 440. Um, runs great. Battery's dead, but it runs really good. Um, I might be regretting it later, but right now I'm pretty stoked about it. What do you think, Chancellor? I like it. So I'm not the only one on a little cruiser. It'll be nice. So my biggest concern, besides being a street bike, going through the desert and having horrible ground clearance and hardly any suspension, is the belt drive. This could be problematic because if we get into mud, I don't think this is gonna do very well in the mud like a chain would. And I've got, and this thing is so big, and sticking out here, I'm afraid of nicking this back here and then chewing up my belt. So I've got to be super careful with that. I'm, I'm a little nervous about that, but eh, we'll see how it goes.
This bike has not ran for 27 years, but I got it running. But it shoots rust out the exhaust. The piston looks really good. Definitely gonna reuse that. You know what? I think you have extra tender fingers. No, I don't. It barely moves. Whoa! What? You're crazy. Not what I heard. <laughs>